Hi, this is Dana from Stones and Findings, and today I'm going to show you how to use a clamshell to finish off a strung necklace. So what I've done is, with the stringing, I have put through a bit of glue on the tip, and I've put through the middle of a clamshell, this finding, and then I'm going to thread through a crimp bead. Now you don't have to put use a crimp bead, but I like to, only because I feel that it's more secure. And then what you do is you knot, you put through, you knot it, and I shift the crimp bead at the end. I, I crimp it down, and then I trim it. And what happens, why it's called a clamshell, is this finding here has two holes, Two, two, two sides of a clam, and what you do is you close it after it's been crimped. You can put a dab of glue. If you're not using crimp bead, dab of glue. If it's nylon string, you can melt it. And then, there you go. And now you are ready. That's closed. And if you're going to use a chain, extension chain, you can add that on. What I've done is this part has been curled in, and I've extended it. And now it is ready for you to add on your your clasp, your spring ring clasp, but in this case I have a lobster clasp. And I'm going to close that. Usually it's best to use two pairs of pliers to close more securely, but just so that I'm here videotaping this with one hand, it's a lot easier. So here we have it. The clam shell, the string, the clam shell, and then the loop plus the clasp. And on the other side, what you're going to have to do because you're not going to have as much room when knotting, I would have to do the knot over a pin and I push it all the way to the end because you don't want to have a loose bit with the clam up here and and tie the knot here and there's space but you do want enough space so that it flows nicely and like I was saying in another video you always want to move your beads and then make a curl so that it is and smoothen it out so that it is in position and smooth and not too stiff and not no spaces and then you finish it off